Hi, my name is Kim Brown and my husband is Caesar. We have been married for 14 years. And we're the proud parents of two loving seven-year-old twins, Tristan and Felton. Felton's just a fun-loving, little athletic seven-year-old, very competitive. And he is the kindest little boy I have ever met. Tristan is just full of life. For me, she's a dream of a daughter. She's our little fashionista. Um, she's extremely athletic, but doesn't know it yet. I love having twins. I, I really do think it's the best gift. A few years ago, Tristan, our daughter, woke up and was just a different child. You know, I could not pinpoint what was happening, but all I knew was that the night before, my daughter was this outgoing, happy child. She told us that her brain felt different. Her facial expressions were different. She was very, very scared. She couldn't look at herself in the mirror. She knew something was different. And at four years old, that is a hard thing for her to articulate. She just kept asking me to hold her, and she just kept saying, Mommy, something's wrong. I don't feel right. We went to specialist after specialist looking for answers, and we prayed a lot. And there was a lot of fear surrounding us at that time in our house. You know, life doesn't stop when, when something like this happens. And so we just really had a year of struggling to continue to live life. And we made changes also. Kim became a full-time stay-at-home mom. We changed our diet completely, but we, we never found the answers. And we kept looking at our little girl, wanting her back, um, but there was nothing we could do. For me, it was a moment in time where I wasn't sure where to turn. I felt so alone. So many times we've heard Andy talk about that circles are better than rows, and we've sat in our seats, and I've nudged Caesar several times, you know, just knowing that all of a sudden Sunday wasn't enough. And all that sounds good, but as a guy who's never done small group before, um, I wasn't going without a fight. I didn't want the obligation of once a week going and meeting with people. We had plenty of friends, but Kim persisted. For me, walking into our first small group meeting, um, <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect. Contrary to what I thought it would be like, it was a pleasant surprise for me. We were talking about sports, we were talking about life, we were talking about being dads, and it just felt natural. I think it was probably after two weeks, I looked at Caesar and I said, these are gonna be lifelong friends. But what we didn't know was that once we went into it, all of these other couples needed us just as much. And that was the great transition for us. About two years later, after we saw the change in Tristan, we noticed that Felton had the same tendencies. I mean, they're twins. And when it happened, it was like knives to our stomach. Um, we couldn't imagine going through what we went through with Tristan all over again with Felton. But there was a huge difference. The morning that he woke up a different child, it was a Monday morning. And Monday nights is when our small group meets. So that whole day, I laid in bed and I cried and I prayed. And the second I walked in, they knew. And they absolutely loved on us. And it felt so different than the first time going through the same situation with our daughter. I just think it speaks volumes to what a small group can do for a family. We do life together and we share our true emotions with one another. Circles truly are better than rows. I don't care what anybody says and, and I wouldn't trade it for anything.